Hi everyone. Well today, as promised, we're going to be talking to you about the Anchor Nebula Capsule Max projector. So as promised, we're here and we're going to do a proper run through of our new projector with you. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion about this and a lot of people wanting to see it. So we start off in the studio, um, back bedroom, uh, and uh, we'll talk you through the projector, what we've bought, uh, kind of spec it is, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we'll head out to the van and I'll give you a proper demo of it in situ so you can see exactly uh, how it works, how it all performs uh, and uh, how brilliant it is actually. I'm very, very impressed with this. So Santa's come early this year on the 9th of November. Is this Santa that's also known as Sarah? Santa Sarah. <laughs> um, I don't know why Sarah isn't opening this because actually she bought it and paid for it. However, Ooh. other retailers are available. <laughs> this hopefully should bring us a lot of joy and pleasure in the Cali. Can you think what it might be? The suspense is killing me, Will. Pop it in the uh, comments below. What do you think we've bought? Big reveal. Ooh. Ooh, yes. What is this? So this is a nice little, hopefully little, projector. HD picture, big sound. Let's, uh, let's open this up. So we picked this one in particular. We have seen a couple of YouTube videos which uh, talk about this particular one. And uh, we've looked at lots of uh, stuff on the web, as you'd imagine. Uh, this particular one is rechargeable. Uh, it automatically sorts the picture out for you um, when you turn it on against a wall if it's not kind of set right and focuses automatically. and all of that stuff. It's got uh, Android operating system, so it's got Netflix and all of the other stuff built in, Wi-Fi, etc, etc. So, let's have a, a look. Oh, it's got a nice magnetic box. Oh, that's not very exciting, is oh, it? Oh, come on! <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see if I can actually get it out. There we go. Wow. We bought the case for it, so it's got a matching case, nice little nebula case. Um, this is from Anchor, the, the actual case itself is from Anchor as well. Uh, and uh, when you open it up, it's got just the right space inside to be able to store your projector at the bottom, uh, power supply, and then at the top here, uh, just in this little pocket, is the remote control. So let me just show you the projector first of all. So there you go. It's a little cylinder look, you can see it. Um, when we're in the van I'll show you it against a can of coke on the uh, kitchen so you can see exactly what kind of size it is but obviously you've got the lens at the front here. Um, there's actually a little tiny camera in the uh, uh, next to the lens and that's so it can do automatic focus so it, uh, it does actually zoom in and out itself so it gets the focus just right. I'll show you that. Got a uh, tripod mount on the bottom as well so you can see that there, it's quite handy. Um, on the back you've got a power button, uh, it's actually doubles up as a Bluetooth speaker as well so uh, that button there above the power button uh, swaps it between being a Bluetooth speaker and being a projector. Uh, round the bottom here you've got uh, power in, uh, you've got an HDMI socket and you've also got um, USB um, connection on there as well as a an aux in as well so if you wanted to stream music into the speakers you can do that uh, via the aux in and then on the top uh, I don't know if you can see that um, you've got uh, some buttons on there which uh, are touch buttons you've got a select button in the middle and then four arrow buttons for the different uh, menus and then you can control your volume up and down on there and then there's a back button as well um, Obviously rechargeable, um, so you don't have to have it plugged in to use it. It lasts for about four hours in our experience. Uh, projection screen size uh, and distance away, you have to have it um, probably, I'd say, anything from about 
half a meter or so up to about three meters away from the screen and the screen is kind of proportionate so the, the more you kind of pull it back and away from the uh, projection screen or wherever you're projecting it onto the bigger the picture will be however it's got really really clever picture adjustment uh, and I'll show you that again in the van how you can get that set up just right so this is really it's a it's quite a clever projector because uh, usually if you've got a projection screen and you're trying to project against it you've got to have it um, kind of dead center otherwise the picture looks all weird you can have this up at an angle you can have it up high down low um, it's really quite clever we've tried this in our bedroom we've had it on a bedside table projecting onto a screen at the end of our bed um, so obviously it's offset and you can adjust the picture perfectly so it's nice and flat looks absolutely spot on so very very clever um, the uh, power cable you get with it is a three pin power cable um, now in terms of power this needs uh, bear with me a second 1.2 amps of 240 volt well one one 100 to 240 volt so it's not a very powerful power supply i haven't actually tried this in the inverter in the van i really need to do that at some point uh, to check that it works we have tried it on the hookup um, so that on the end of the kitchen and that works obviously for absolutely fine but i will try it in the uh, the inverter as well uh, with the projector you get a, uh, a smart little remote control um, again quite handy for just uh, using the menus and things which are built into the uh, uh, into the projector uh, the projector runs on a version of android uh, os and uh, that means you can install apps on it it's got its own little nebula app store so you can download um, uh, things like amazon prime netflix youtube etc uh, and they're all um, uh, straight onto the projector itself uh, obviously you need to connect it to some kind of wi-fi for that to work so in the house here that's fine we could do it with uh, the house wi-fi when we when we're in the van we tend to pair it off one of our smartphones um, we've got a an ee tariff with a 100 gig of data or something like that so watching the odd Netflix um, series or, or film or whatever is not really a problem in terms of streaming uh, and it pairs just perfectly to a phone and then you can download from your phone's hotspot uh, so that works really well and uh, yeah I think that's probably about it for the basics it's an HD projector so it's not 4k uh, it does does project in um, in HD uh, sound quality is really good actually and I was quite surprised even as just a Bluetooth speaker it's really it's quite loud it's quite bassy and it's got a really good sound to it uh, so yeah it's got airplay uh, built in as well so you can airplay from if you've got a MacBook or an iPad or a phone you can screen share using airplay straight onto the uh, onto the projector as well so if you've you, you know if you're watching iPlayer or something like that uh, on your on your laptop or uh, MacBook or, uh, or um, iPad, you can hit uh, share screen and then get it to go straight onto the projector too. Uh, so that's quite quite handy too, and that works while you're on your hotspot as well. Uh, we tried that the other day. Uh, we paid three hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. Um, I've had a look on Amazon right now, just just before um, starting the filming for this, and it's three hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. I think the retail price is something like four six nine. Uh, which felt like too much money for us um, but 329 it really is a good quality bit of kit I think the case was about another 20 uh, and I'd say that the case is quite a delicate I, I mean, even though it's well built because it's got a lens and everything else I'd, and we're putting it in the van I'd want to keep this nice and safe so I think it's really important just to um, spend the extra 20 quid and get the case as well so yeah definitely definitely worthwhile right um, so I think that's enough of us in here, not showing you it actually on the screen. Let's get out to the van. I'll show you how it gets set up in the van and let's see uh, how we project. So this is not the easiest kind of thing to film, as you can imagine. But what we've got there is one projector, one can of Diet Pepsi. So that gives you a bit of an idea. The reason that I'm filming from this really weird angle is because we've got our makeshift projection screen in the background here. Um, so this is the side um, blind above the sliding door in the California <clears throat> and what we do is turn this around power it on on the back and you will see 
it says nebula i've got the uh, projector set up uh, sitting on the kitchen facing the um blind the pull down blind so this is the uh, the kind of thing that you get on the screen when you first boot the projector up uh, so obviously you can select hdmi on the left hand side um, if you've got a USB stick or anything like that you've put in, if it's got videos on or movies, you can play them with File Manager. App Manager lets you download things like Amazon, YouTube, Netflix, etc. <clears throat> uh, Network here allows you to select your Wi-Fi uh, if you want to. Um, and then you've got Settings here, uh, which I'll go into a bit later. It obviously will show you uh, how to set the picture up and everything else. Uh, then down the bottom here, I've installed a few apps, so I've got Amazon, YouTube, Netflix, uh, Nebula Manager, um, which doesn't really do much to be honest, it's more just kind of FAQs and those kind of things, uh, Spotify and TuneIn. Uh, right, and then obviously at the top right you can see that uh, Bluetooth is switched on, uh, the um, uh, Wi-Fi is connected with the little bars and there's also a uh, battery symbol up there as well. So if I go into settings, um, brings up this light, obviously you can set your network up and Bluetooth and all of that sort of stuff. Um, projector is where you can set the screen up though. So if I go to that, uh, what this then gives you is another menu where you've got image modes, color temperatures, all that kind of stuff. If you're gonna mount the projector upside down um, or uh, put it from a uh, project into a screen from the rear and those kind of things, you can do all of that kind of stuff. And it's really quite, uh, quite funky um however it's this one here the quadrilateral keystone correction which is the one which makes it absolutely brilliant for setting up in the van so what you probably can't see there is that the picture um is just slightly off and i can change that by just literally moving the projector around a little bit um on the on the um kitchen which has just squared everything up which is great but what you can do with this is if you click in um on each of these corners it'll let you adjust the picture and i don't know whether you can see what that's doing um but it's basically twisting the picture on the screen um whichever way that i uh, i move those arrows and if you imagine what you're trying to do when you set this up is make the box look properly square when you look at the screen so when you first set this up so if i put this off to one side slightly probably a good example um like that what i can do with this so i've put it more to the more to the left hand side of the kitchen is if i go to this other side uh, just bear with me a second so if i go over to the right hand side i can see when i'm looking at this that it's going to need adjusting in a little bit uh, so it needs to go in there needs to go up a little bit to square the picture off out a little bit and as i look at the picture now that is completely square it, might, it doesn't look it on the camera obviously but um this obviously lets you do that on all four corners of that square which means that you can adjust this picture to be perfect regardless pretty much of where you've got the projector i could put the projector on you know one end of the kitchen the other end of the kitchen still point it towards this screen here and uh, it'll be absolutely fine uh, so if I just go back to the main menu, if I pick something like YouTube, um, this then uh, obviously loads the app and lo and behold, there's one of our videos. So I've just selected the video. This is just a quick advert and uh, hopefully it won't last too long and you'll be able to see what it does. But it's effectively, you can see it from the advert. It, it does deliver a stunning quality picture the only only slight downside of the picture quality on this is obviously there's a slight texture to the blind which you can just about see in the picture it's not a perfect projection blind by any means but it's it's really not bad and it well it gives you a really good size picture i'd estimate the picture in here to be about 32 inches something like that and there i am um, so just gives you a really good kind of appreciation of uh, exactly what you can do with um, the projector in the Kelly. I'll just click back. Um, and then if I go click on the home button, that obviously takes you all the way back. Um, so it's a really, really clever 
little projector. Um, I'll uh, I'll spin the camera around now so you can see what it's like uh, when I uh, connect it with uh, Bluetooth. That's probably the uh, the next thing to show you. So when you want to go into Bluetooth mode, you have to press the button which is above the power button on the back of the projector, and when you press it, you get this. Switching to Bluetooth speaker mode. Right, so hopefully you can see on the screen there, it says Nebula 405ED0. Uh, that's now connected to the, uh, the Nebula, and uh, that means we can play some music. So as I'm sure you can appreciate, it's not the easiest thing to film because it has to be dark to show you a projector uh, in particular, but uh, hopefully that's given you a bit of a rough idea of what it's like. Um, it's just, it's so portable. That's what I really like about it. It's just so portable. You can just keep it either in the van or use it in the house. And because it's rechargeable, it's super easy to use as well. Um, we, we, we really love it. Um, T watching TV in the van, watching Netflix or whatever in the van is uh, a bit Marmite. You know, some people really enjoy watching TV in the van. Some people really uh, want to get away from TV and everything else. And that is absolutely fine too. Uh, we just find on the uh, long winter nights when it's so dark outside, when you'd usually be walking the dog or, you know, enjoying being outside. If it's cold, it's dark, it's raining, having the ability to sit and watch a few episodes of your favorite series um, really does make quite a big difference so we really enjoy having it uh, and uh, hope uh, you've enjoyed uh, seeing what it's like um, let us know if you're going to treat yourselves let us know if you've got a better solution uh, and uh, hopefully you like this kind of content if you do please like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for some more california time Thank you.